Hey everyone, what a magical evening here in Bangkok, right at sunset time. We are here at the Jod's Fair Denaramit location. No, this is not a Hollywood romance movie. This is a scene from real life here in Bangkok. Such a gorgeous venue for a night market under the sunset. Now there's two Jod Fairs night markets in Bangkok. One is Jod Fair Rama 9 location, and the other one is here Denaramit. And both locations are very different. The one in Rama 9 is very busy in the middle of Bangkok, in the middle of the city. Whereas this one is more relaxed, more spacious, more open. And I personally felt that there were more locals here compared to the Rama 9 location. The way they decorated the place was absolutely amazing with this 1950s theme car kind of vibe going on. Right, let's explore the night market. I got there around sunset time and honestly, the showpiece of this night market is this amazing, magical, towering castle. Now, what I've heard is that this location used to be a theme park before, and then they converted it into a night market. Now, the reason you're seeing all these fancy bikes and cars is because this particular day, they had an auto show going on. So people who had these nice bikes and cars were just showing off their stuff. The Jod's Fair Denormit location is very vast and very spacious and sprawling. And you have kind of like this magical Disney World theme on one side because of this castle. And on the other side, you have this sprawl of night markets with the food and the vibes going on. It's a perfect location for taking photos and videos. And you can even go inside the castle and take all the photos that you want. I mean, look at this place. Wouldn't you want to have a nice romantic date night with someone you love right over here? I mean, the atmosphere, the ambiance is just so romantic, so magical. All right, enough with the castle. Let's get down to the food. And one of the most popular things you see is this amazing tower of fort. This is a hallmark of the Jobs Fair Night Market. The Tower of Pork. Soup, spices. It's a very popular dish, and I always see people from mainland China going crazy over it. And then you have this a la carte sushi, and each kind of sushi has its own price, and you just pick and choose. Here, most of the sushi was like 15 baht, and you pick whatever you want, and they'll just arrange it for you, and the platter is all yours to enjoy. And honestly, you might think that night market sushis anywhere in Asia are probably not good, but I can bet you my last dollar night market sushis are far more tastier than any restaurant I've had in Canada. The great thing about the Job Fairs night market in Bangkok is that there's something for everyone. You have your fried stuff, you have your Korean foods, Japanese foods, Thai foods, seafoods, juices, desserts, everything and anything for anyone. Now, one thing I always advise people, no matter where you are in Asia, whether it's Thailand or any other Asian countries, the whole point of a night market is you, you don't just tank up on one particular kind of food. The whole point is that you pace yourself and you try a bit of everything. Because there's so many foods to choose from, right? So try to take a little bit of food from here, a little bit of kind of stuff from there, and just kind of assortment of things. And this way you'll be able to fill up on multiple items and be able to try a lot of things. 
Mmm, Korean fried chicken. Oh my god, I remember eating this. It's so yummy. And of course, the showstopper, no matter which night market you go to, whether it's in Thailand or elsewhere in Asia, meat on a stick is always a great thing. It's one of the best things you'll ever put in your mouth, period. And this is one of the things that I love about Thailand is that there's so many night markets catering to so many kinds of tastes that you could just explore all the food for the rest of your life in just one city. We're not even talking of all of Thailand. We're just talking about Bangkok right now. It'll take your whole life to explore foods in Thailand. And I just couldn't resist trying a bit of everything. And for me, a night market is not just about the food, it's also about the ambiance, the vibe, the atmosphere, the energy, you know, seeing other people from all over the world, you know, and you learn so many things about people's cultures and traditions and the kind of foods that they like. Now, if you're in Western countries, this kind of setup is unheard of. I mean, you'll only get this kind of stuff at top class restaurants. But in Thailand, especially this night market, Jod's Fairs, you feel like you are in a foodie paradise. Everything is very affordable, everything is very edible, and freshly prepared, organic, with skilled chefs. Now, a tip that I'll give anyone visiting these night markets is that try to bring cash, because Thailand is a cash-based society. Night markets particularly accept cash. It's very rare that you'll see a stall at a night market accepting credit cards or debit cards. You know, cash is king. Always carry cash and make sure you're not carrying high denominations in cash. Carry maybe 20 pots or 100 pots at most. Because the stuff is so cheap at these night markets, if you're carrying higher denomination notes, chances are they'll reject them. So try to carry 20 pots mostly and a few hundred pots here and there. All in all, you can have a great night with yourself, a loved one, or friends if you bring the right amount of cash. And yeah, carry the right amount of stomach weight also. <laughs> what I mean by that is make sure you come hungry to these night markets. Because honestly, if you are full and you come here, you're going to regret it. You want to be starving when you come to these night markets. Because the food is amazing, the ambiance is perfect. And all you want to do is stuff your face with as many delicious delights as possible. Now, seafood in Western countries is very expensive. But in a night market like this in Thailand, honestly, it's probably not even 10% the price that you would pay. So the night market is not just about food. There's also this whole other section with clothes, accessories, collectibles, souvenirs. You know, you can literally explore the whole place all week, all month, and you'll always find something interesting. Now, towards the end of the night market, you'll come across this really amazing setup. The way they've decorated the place, and they're giving it a nice, cool, hip, yes, sexy, classy vibe at the same time. And it really makes you feel like you're on some kind of magical island, you know? Imagine sitting here with your friends, chilling for the night, you know, talking about, you know, all kinds of stuff. It's just really cool. I mean, I wish we had more stuff like this in the West, but we don't. And this is one of the reasons why foreigners love coming to Thailand because everything is such a novelty here. And like any crazy foodie, all those yummy smells are gonna call your name and pull you back into the food part of the night market. This is exactly what happens to me and I couldn't resist. And I was back in the food area in no time.
this is the typical papaya salad in Thailand. It's called somtam salad. And the way they prepare it is absolutely craftsmanship. It's an art. And the salad itself is pretty delicious. And I fell to the temptation, I couldn't resist, I had to get myself some nice papaya salad. I just want to show you one more time this whole ambiance right next to the water. It's just such a perfect, calm, serene kind of vibe. I mean, I could just sit here, look at the stars, listen to the water you know, munch on my food and just take it all in. Like, it doesn't get better than that. Look at that. Ah, I wanna go back. This dessert stall was pretty cool. Look at how they've arranged these food arrangements. You know, the strawberries, the apples, uh, the grapes there. I mean, it's like candy on a stick. Now, who wouldn't want to stuff their face with this goodness and call it a night? I mean, I would. So my lovely friends, if you want to visit one of the best night markets in Bangkok, my recommendation is do check out Jod's Fair's Denaramit. You will be amazed. It will captivate your senses and leave you hungry for more. Please do subscribe to my channel and show some love so I can create more of these videos for you guys. Until next time, cheers.